I'm afraid that the Modern Playbook cast is no longer permitted to go live on our YouTube channel. The cast of the Modern Playbook has been put on an administrative reassignment as a result of habitual violations of their employment Eesh. contract. These violations include whatever Nico was doing in Mexico when he was supposed to be writing his article for comicbookinvest.com. Sleepy's missing important meetings at an alarming rate, alleging that he was resting. We blame Mr. Longshort for anyone even knowing about Marvel previews 95 and all speculation related to Outlawed and the Champions characters whom we find offensive. Carter is in violation of his employment contract for a reason to be named later, but we are disappointed that he continues to rob comic books at less than market value for various brick and mortar establishments. Steve Horn is complicit in all of this, and we do not believe that his kind personality is in any way indicative of him being anything other than culpable in the misconduct of the modern playbook staff. I specifically blame Matt DeVoe for failing to show up for podcasts and his excuses about coverprice.com are unpersuasive. Ultra Maximus has not shaved his beard in accordance with the terms and conditions of the promotional bet that he lost to Mr. Nico. And his excuses regarding some things he's watched in a YouTube video are similarly inexcusable. Neglect. Half Price Crook is 100% responsible for his poor internet. And we find it suspicious that it works on Mel Vaughn's podcast. Richard Taylor is complicit in all of the shenanigans on this podcast. We are also disappointed in his success with Final Order Cutoff and find that to be suspicious. Or lack no of. One's successful with Final Order Cutoff. Finally, Lucas Fashina has failed to appear at an alarming rate on this podcast, but finds time for Mel Vaughn's podcast and Comic Crusaders. They're all banned. Sincerely, management. Thank you. Mind blowing. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I almost cut it just because off the promo. I was just going to end Hello. the recording. <laughs> Hello. It got good. It got good. I'm really excited about today's episode. I know that you've all been patiently waiting to hear what these gentlemen have to say about the Disney Investors 2020 announcements. Uh, are, there's a ton of books to talk about. Uh, gentlemen, if you would please introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, I'm Dino. All I can say is off the Disney investor meeting that uh, I'm buying La Costa number eight, number nine, because my stock went up, man. So makes sense. Yeah. Hey, Rich Taylor, a.k.a. Dollar Ben. Good to see you. all Oh, it's sleep to be John. I don't know why I got involved in this. <laughs> I, somebody hacked my phone. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm Jessup, um, uh, Half Price Crook. Uh, thanks for having me on. Love being on this show. Right, ready ready endorsement. Ready, ready to get going. moving? Yeah, let's go, man. All right. So, uh, let, you want to start with uh, Marvel? Because yeah, uh, here's your screenshot: um, One Division, Doctor Strange, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Black Widow, Loki, What If, Shang Chi, Ms. Marvel. Captain Marvel 2, Eternals, Hawkeye, and She-Hulk. Oh, boy. Jesus! Um, yep. I don't know what I just did, but that's okay. All right. Um, well, let's get my ugly mug off the uh, big screen. Yeah, you're good. Uh, you're good. You and uh, <laughs> Dalla Ben were kind enough to put together a, a ton of books. Um, do you want to just roll through them? 
Do you want to go to the auction resorts or do you want to go through the books? Let's save the auction results for the very, very end unless they pop up uh, in between because there's so much to talk about. I'm not going to be able to keep up with that. We'll do it at the end. Okay, so uh, here we go. First book. Uh, Let me share my screen so I can like move things around and do a bunch of stuff and show people what it's about. There we go. So uh, first book is what? Thor 371, Rich? Yeah, this is uh, Thor 371. This is actually the direct edition. I mean, if you could find a high grade copy of the direct or newsstand, there's also a Mark Jewelers insert edition variant. This is the first appearance and first cover appearance, I believe, of Justice Peace. He's the leader of the TVA, but he works under Mr. Mobius, I believe. Yeah, so do we have a casting for him? Still rumors. There's no, um, I, I checked. Uh, I checked the sheet and still I don't see his name. It's just there's a lot of blanks on there. So we'll see. And yeah, I messed this it rolls, up. Yeah, this rolls out of uh, the Loki television series. Sleepy's gone. Um, Jessup, did you get a chance to watch the Loki trailer? I did not. Um, I know, Rich. You I've been did. drunk for probably 20 hours. Yes, I did. I've watched it. I've watched it a few times and it's. One, I, I'm I, actually I was I, that was the least I was excited for, and now that's probably the show I'm the most excited for. Now. Would you also think mad you? I left a vote Loki book at Half Price Books when I was there the other day because I'm talking about that. That's, that's on the list. Hey, and I messed it up, boys, because I didn't do this because people people want to see this and then they screenshot everything. So, oh okay. <laughs> there, there you go. All right, well let's just keep moving through them. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> I'll just put them up, Rich, and you just roll with it, dude. Wait, are we editing? We're going to be editing? No. No. Nah, we don't do okay. this. No. Okay, so yeah. this is uh, Thor 372, and this one is the first appearance of the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. So this would be your actual first official appearance of the Time Variance Authority. Um, there's also a newsstand copy, a Canadian price variant, and a Mark Jewelers insert edition of this book. Um, I like 371 better than I like 372, but if uh, we get final casting for uh, for Loki, that's season one, that book might, you know, not do as much as this one will. Definitely. Yeah, and my kind of thought was um, with all of the forthcoming Kang stuff, yeah. um, the strong possibility that they're going to roll into kind of a young Avengers Kang story. Um, it makes sense that we'll keep having the TVA uh, as you've been kind enough to educate people to watch the podcast in the past about uh, the TVA make an appearance in uh, She-Hulk one and two uh, with justice love. Right. Um, you want to keep running through them? You know, the thing uh, is, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Now, this one is arguably the, the standout book, in my opinion, because uh, it appears um, that Owen Wilson's character is the gentleman in the corner box there. Uh, and we believe this is his first full appearance. Correct. Correct. This is the first uh, appearance of Mr. Mobius. <laughs> He's there. I, that's him right there in the little corner right there, actually. Right yeah. Definitely. Now, did we pull the book that Sleepy talked about, which is the prior issue 352? No, I pulled uh, I pulled 354. Because okay, so it's 352, 353, 354, 355, and 356. Yeah. I think right. Yeah, I think it goes all the way up to 357, but it, I mean 356. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's the the major Fantastic Four story arc. Uh, again, we're going to get a Fantastic Four, and for me, it was unclear whether or not that was going to be a television show or a film. Um, <coughs> I imagine that was probably uh, kind of left um, unsettled, unless I missed something, because, you know, if I'm Marvel, I wouldn't want to be committed to anything right now. Uh, 354 is your first appearance of uh, Casey, the train conductor that supposedly uh, travels throughout time, uh, directed by uh, the train conductor, Casey, who works for the TVA. Now, 
a casting call went out in February. Um, a reliable scooper we all know wrote about this also. And um, it, the, the character I know from this book that I've read and the name, they actually named the character Casey. They, they looked for this character and they casted it. So that seems to be coming. But it's not on the it's not on the final or, or whatever that is of uh, the credits uh, when we look it up. Sh I don't know what it, what you call it, but uh, this character was casted. Suppose nice. We got uh, I have annual twenty seven. This is a uh, uh, Fantastic Four annual twenty seven. You know, fifty cent book, but it's important because you know there's five. Uh, at least five uh, key members of the Time Variance Authority in this book. It's uh, it's it's pretty much a uh, partial team, first team appearance, but they are uniquely named in this book as a full appearance. Yeah, and is there a um, J.C. Penney's variant for three fifty four? I think. Um, I can I can look Here, for see. one of those one of those books. I can't remember which one. It's a good oh. question. Yeah, there oh, is. I just can't remember the number. Give me a second. What do you mean by a J.C. Penney's variant? How do I not know about this? Okay, so uh, you it was when it was when Nico would go to J.C. Penney to get uh, <laughs> a pair of underwear or a pair of socks, and then there would also be some comic books. Yeah, yeah, some underwears, and then. You know, there's some comic get books iron, there. Get an iron shirt. Goodness gracious! All right, in my in what? my opinion, Holy Penny's cow. variants are some of the Sir, most. You cannot get a comic book. You were here to get a pair of socks and underoos. <laughs> <laughs> Show us a, a J.C. Penny variant. Uh, they don't have it in that in that one. They. It was. Um, I thought Nico had one. I thought Nico. Had one. I, I definitely have them. Uh, well, my comic a, shop hasn't doesn't have it listed, so my comic shop does have them listed. That's where I bought them. Oh, they do. Yes, nice. Well, I I'm looked not at trying to derail anything, oh, but boy. Okay. hold on, boys. Maybe so, I'm looking at the wrong stuff. It's uh, my it's bad. Three fifty five. I lied. Three fifty five has the JC Penney's variant, right? Oh, so basically, for example, Ghost Rider number one has a JC Penney's variant, right? We call them second prints. They're JC Penney's variants. Uh, some of the times, not all of the times, and they were just sold out of the Penny's catalogs. So they are, in my opinion, some of the most undervalued uh, copper books because people don't appreciate their rarity. They don't really um, treat them like they do the DCU variants uh, or, you know, price variants, uh, not Canadian price variants. Fun. But, um, yeah, so they're ones I think you should always be on the lookout for. There's an opportunity uh, here. <laughs> Uh, on those books and um, put me hip, dude. What do they look like? What's it, how do so you know? I, I got a um, I got I a fucked it up, man. Dark right? one. There we go, right there, buddy. I believe I got a dark so, one that that the nice the price uh, the price mark looks different. Okay, so look at the three fifty five like, there. See how there's a black box in the corner yeah. on the J C Penney's variant. There is a um, white box and the white box is the ASM um, Spider-Man 30th anniversary symbol. This one? No. Yeah, I, have a, I know what that is. Yeah. I got plenty of those. <laughs> well, actually I have okay, one now. No, 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 guys. So it, just on that particular book is oh, the okay. ASM 30th anniversary. I know what you're talking so about. Yeah. That yeah. one there yeah. will have uh in the instead of the black Captain America will have a white Spider-Man. Okay. I have a it was the uh it's it's a Captain America book <clears throat> where he fights a Punisher. Uh I I'm reaching. Maybe issue 241. I'm not sure it's the exact book. Yeah, I know that's their first battle 241 I think it is. Or 341. Right. It's one of those. But yeah. 341. Yeah, so uh, I had that, and I, I shared a really early video, and uh, somebody hit me up and wanted to buy it. Um, I probably shouldn't say his name. I'm not going to say his name. It looks like that. Yeah, well done. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, now I don't know that uh, that's uh, yeah. not to suggest that when you have that Spider-Man logo that it's a J.C. Penney's variant, just on that specific book. But it doesn't have it's 30th a, anniversary on it. Just has that, right? Uh, on the J.C. Penney's yeah. one, yeah. yes. Yeah, it, right here, right here. it has 30th anniversary on it. So there's three, right. three, 351 has a Spider-Man logo with an anniversary text and 355. Okay, but the, three, the but the 355 uh, with the Spider-Man 30th anniversary text is a J.C. Penney's variant. It is correct. Yes. So yeah. that doesn't mean that when there's a Spider-Man 30th anniversary uh, symbol, that that's a 30th anniversary, or that that's a J.C. Penney price right. variant universally. All right, I just correct. wanted to make that clear. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a, there's a list. There's a bunch of them. So, anyways, um, keep going. Uh, Next so, book. Next book. Uh, we talked about FF. This is uh, Dark Rain Young Avengers number one. Yeah, so this, this book right here is um, the first appearance of a, a second enchantress, but when she's young. I think her name is Young Sylvie. They are, they call her Young Sylvie um, when she's young. Now, this was a casting call that went out early last uh, not last year, but this year. And um, it is confirmed. I don't know if you if you can say confirmed since I didn't get it straight from the source, but it's listed all over the internet that she is going to be in a minimum of two episodes. Okay. Cool. It, and is Young Avengers number one just the first, the first print, right? Yeah, well, there's also a second print, and there's also uh, some variants. Um, but uh, yeah, you have uh, you have the first cover appearance of America Chavez. <clears throat> I mean, it's not the it's not the strongest cover appearance, but she is right. Yeah, right. and I, you know, I, this looks to be the like second, the team, right? There's variants and second prints. They look. I great. like the second print. I like the second print. Yeah. Do you guys think this is probably close to what the team is going to look like? I think so. I, I'm guessing it, it's either this or champions, but it seems to be lining up and there's going to be two different teams. This, this book also is, this book is also the first official team appearance when they're actually officially named. Yeah. Correct. Agreed. Absolutely. Agreed. So the only other year. I'm sorry. What year? What year did this come out? I, I never see this book. 20, I, 14 or 15. 2014 or 15. I think 13. Yeah. Let's 13, check it out. Okay. Yeah. I'll look. Hold on. I just out of curiosity. March I, I never, 2013. Ever. March 2013. So it came out in January 2013. Got it. 2013. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed Good it. Job. Uh. We, and yeah. there's not, and there's not many really there's not many variants for it. There's uh no. second there's print uh, second print. But they're all no they're all cartoony looking. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Go ahead, John, you can take it. What? Talk about Yelena Bolova and how she's going to be in the I, I'm not really. I mean, you. this is. Oh, she's going to be in the Black Widow film, right? Then she's slated and to appear. And she's going to move over to some other movies. Um, do you guys think On this, the Hawkeye television show? She's going to oh, move no. into a lot of other things. Okay, I think my so too. I'll take it. Okay, so we got in humans number five here. Um, this is your first appearance, depending on who you talk to. Uh, if it's a, you know, real full appearance or cameo, um, but in my opinion, it's kind of a, a weak cameo. But this is your first appearance of Yelena Belova. Um, now remember, she also has a first full appearance in my eyes and a lot of others in Black Widow one and the open order variant for that book, um, she's on the cover. Now, going back to this book with Yelena, she's definitely confirmed to be in Black Widow. Um, she is going to be in Hawkeye, and it is confirmed that she will be taking over the Black Widow mantle here on forward. 
So that was that's very important. I, I think this book is very affordable still. Um, like I said, also look into the Black Widow one. Um, you know, it, the cover is fine. The variant is better since she's on the front. Also, there's a Dynamic Forces variant for that Black Widow one where she's on the cover. There's 7,500 printed of those. Um, the, yeah, you know, I thought the Dynamic Forces would pull away, and so it hasn't. Right. right. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Um, what do you guys think about that wizard book? Any shot whatsoever that people are going to pay attention to? Is it the, the one no. where there's the most no. opportunity or because, is it just dead forever? Because it should have happened by now. I don't understand why it has happened isn't it? by now. And what, well, and what Nico's talking about is is a wizard you know, uh, preview book where Yelena Belova is on the cover and well it hasn't taken this. off. Well, and it was published well before this. Yeah, it's her first and it's appearance. Dirt, yeah, it's dirt cheap. Um, you know, I don't know. It's an interesting play for me because uh, they're so cheap. I wonder if uh, the profit margins there, uh, more so than on this other stuff, or maybe the dynamic forces is the way to go. I mean, for whatever reason, this is the book in humans number five right now. I mean, that's the one that people no, like. No, I'd say that. Um, I'd say that uh, Black Widow number one, the uh, the variant uh, second yeah. cover, the second cover, the B cover. You think is preferred now? Well, I mean, at least by me and John, I think we both agree that that moderate to long term will be the book. I think once Black Widow hits the screen, and then you know we see her through that throughout that movie, played by Catherine Pugh, who I love, uh, great actor. And then once we see her again in Hawkeye and whoever, yeah, you know, she's other, been she, confirmed for other things. Yeah, people exactly. are gonna want the book that has that. You know, I mean, because they came out the same year, I believe, it's like 1999, 2000 area. So right around the same oh, yeah, time, they're a month apart. Full appearance with her on the cover. Yeah, it's interesting, man. It's it's uh, interesting. I, I'm really. Um, appreciate you guys um, sharing your opinions and, and insights. I, uh, I don't understand why with all of the money that people spend on comics, people aren't uh, like the collector community hasn't gone crazy for these Yelena Belova uh, books. Um, <laughs> I, it feels like it's just got to be a matter of time. But do, uh, do, do you think she's going to be the female Robert Downey Jr.? You know how he's in like all these other things besides Iron Man. Does he become the, the, in, in that term, Oof. I guess, I, you know, other than being a knockout, she's a hell of an actress. Um, I, I got a feeling she may uh, steal the Black Widow film. We'll see. Let's, let's stay here for one second. Let me add to that. I, I agree with with what Dino just said and also what uh, uh, John and Nico are saying. Nico is right. Right now, this is the book. This is the book that is moving the needle right now. But on a investor, speculator, um, a, a return on investment point of view, profit yeah. margin point of view, the Black Widow one, uh, open order variant cover rate, and the dynamic forces, those are the books long term, moderate to long term. Yeah, and I, I like, again, the dynamic forces, uh, which the market has not picked. But I just think it's harder to find. You know, made a good point. Um, and I want to add to that. Uh, yeah. So towards uh, Infinity War. So once uh, in, in the movie, when you know her and she and them are on the run, and they come back after Infinity War, she into Endgame. In the Endgame, she takes the reins. She's like the leader of the team, right? So yeah, that's that's a good point. She could become that Robert Downey Jr. leader of the Avengers, so to speak. Nice. So we talk about Hawkeye. Yeah, this is um, this is the first appearance of Kate Bishop's mother, and she is casted and played by the famous and beautiful Vera Farmiga. Um, this is literally a fifty cent book. You could find this digging anywhere. Um, I think right now the needle, the needle is moving on this book. Um, I like it, uh, you know, for a, a, a cheap a cheap flip. I, I don't think that Vera Famiga, she's huge. I don't think she would have been casted if this character was not uh, going to be important. Now, she doesn't have any powers or what have you, 
but uh, she could be a major influence down the line to Kate Bishop, and that's important. Is everybody bullish on Hawkeye? Nope. Nope. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. 100%. Uh, Hold yeah, on. Now, yeah, yeah. Dino, I know, you, I know you've never read the Fraction Run. I need to. We talked about it. I know you do. Uh, Justin, have you read the Fraction Run? No. Okay. So, I have not. And I will. So, I'm, yeah, I'm picking and them up. And I've I picked read up this two, book two this yesterday. Up I'm right picking now. them up. I'm sorry. Also, I've read this book that's up right now. And and I have a different opinion on it. But Go, go ahead, on. John. Go ahead, John. I, I love. No, 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 no. I like the way Nico's going there. Her name is Ale- I think her name is Elenor, uh, uh, either Elena or Elenor. I can't remember. I've only read it one time. But uh, Nico, well, what, you, what you, you're have saying? Have you read is, the Fraction Run of Hawkeye? He has long time yeah, ago. Yeah, absolutely. Said. And you and are you bullish on uh, Hawkeye? Yeah. Okay. For sure. So. It, I keep asking people this one question, right? Which is like, are you really excited about this television show? And then when they tell me uh, they're not excited about it, I ask them if they've read it and they've definitely not read it. And when I, they say that they are excited about it, they've read the fraction Hawkeye run. Um, I, I think that's telling. But you're assuming that the fraction Hawkeye run is going to be the, 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 the play in the series, right? It is. Yeah, okay. they've cast the villain. I mean, that's that's the, yeah, the route. It has been, it's out. been said. Yeah, they, sent, they sent out a casting call for Tracksuit Mafia. So yeah, they haven't announced them yet. Confirmed, well, they're, they're walking around with Lucky the Pizza Dog. Lucky the Pizza Dog is also in the number one issue, first appearance. And then no, they did. Unless they already did. Hashtag Team Lucky the Pizza Dog. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all I'm saying is, if they do with this television series what Fraction did with that Hawkeye run, yeah, get out of here. It'll yeah, be awesome. I agree. You're right. You're right. That's okay. a good point. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't know that they will, uh, but fingers crossed. Hey, hey, all I got to say is preacher. Let's talk about that. Hey, oh. hey, well, uh, uh, one last thing you move on. Remember what yeah. Deadpool says. This is just a, just a person with a, with a bow and, a, and an arrow. Yeah. I mean, the old Pat, the old Pat Oswalt joke is: What are the Avengers doing? Uh, getting uh, recruits out of Dick Sporting Goods? Like you know, it's like <laughs> whatever, man. So next, uh, next book. Next book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a book that uh, me and a few other of us on the team here uh, like. It's uh, Daredevil number ten. This is your second appearance of Echo and her first cover appearance. Like I said before, uh, depending on who you talk to, this could be the first full appearance of Echo. But I like this book uh, at an investor's point of view since uh, Daredevil number nine is pretty much priced out for that for a modern you know book that in that area. I think this one has room, a lot of room to grow. Yeah, and you know, for me, like the TVA uh, FF books, um, the TVA Thor books, uh, Daredevil nine and ten. I think if you can snag them all and flip sets, um, you know, I don't know that any of those uh, necessarily right now are nine eight books uh, that at least I would spend the money to have pressed, cleaned, slabbed, and and roll the dice on a nine eight. Um, theoretically one of them may pop, you know, the market may, uh, pick 10 because it's a cover appearance. It's when the character has superpowers as opposed to being, you know, her playing a a piano, um, maybe not, but that's kind of how I sort of suggest people play those books. That cover is dope. I just never see it. Is it it, a Casada cover, right? Uh, yeah, I think it is a Joe Quesada uh, cover. And uh, also, there's uh, a beautiful newsstand edition of this book. And that newsstand copy, you now it's just a different of the direct edition coming off and uh, the, the UPC SKU number, but that thing is gorgeous. And I own it. Thank you. Nice. Congrats, man. That's, dude, I don't remember seeing Daredevil in the newsstand when I was a kid. It was a total accident. I bought this book from uh, my comic shop. I'm saying I'm 45. Like, <laughs> hey, I do you can edit that out if you want. But uh, <laughs> I bought this shop from an online retailer who I, I, uh, I, 
and they sent me the newsstand copy, and this thing is nice, nine eight worthy. Hell yeah, that's a book I find pretty much all the time. I trip over them. I'm at the point now where I just pass them up. <laughs> nice. I believe. <laughs> Uh, next book we got is uh, we're going back to Young Avengers here. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is there any room left on this thing? I mean, I, think I passed the- up a, a 9 8 ish uh copy, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, you know, how that goes. Uh, it was close for a hundred bucks today, just couldn't do it because I've had so many. I think that the down part of this book is there's just so many out there. I mean. Don't get me wrong. I own this book, uh, multiple copies. I love this book. Every time I have this in my hands, I'm like, you know, I get that feeling like, yeah, you know, I got another one I scored, but you know, 90,000 plus copies, you know, it's not that rare. I'd rather have the uh, sketch variant. Yeah. The sketch variant is definitely. Okay. I'd rather have too. Yeah, I just sold the sketch variant. But just just so our so our our subscribers know, in case you don't, this is your first appearance of multiple Young Avengers members, including Kate Bishop, um, also uh, Hulk, Hulking, and uh, a few Iron others. Lad, Iron, Iron Lad, Lad. Um, Wiccan, or yeah, Wiccan, right? Tony, Wiccan, Iron Iron Patriot. Tommy Shepard. It has so many first appearances. CGC can't keep up on the label. Yeah, it's just so many. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All that matters is Kate Bishop. Like the guys on no this cover are lame it. as fuck. They're all lame. <laughs> it all, it, it, Kate Bishop is only it is the only thing that matters. Yeah, that's why I just had marbles in my mouth because I'm like Kate Bishop. That's, that's it. That's yeah. all matters. <laughs> Agree. Okay. And then we uh, since we're talking about a young Avengers book, let's move to a couple more young Avengers books. Okay, so. so here again, we have another Young Avengers book. This is number six, and this is a uh, first uh, Cassie Lang as Stature. And I like this book. I think it's a tough 9-8. Um, it is a tough 9-8. Because, A, it's a, it's a modern book, and you got to clean it. And uh, the gloss on this this year's modern, this 2011 and up, I mean, you could rub, literally rub the gloss right off. So you really, you really got to be careful with it. You got to find somebody's experience. And then on top of that, I see a lot of spine dings in this book. I mean, even guys that are saying high grade, uh, trustworthy sellers, I can see them. So, you know, it's tough. Okay. And then we're going from six. We're going to go to 12. Okay, we're good. This is uh, Young Avengers number 12. And then this is the first time that. Kate Bishop is actually referred to as Hawkeye, the code name Hawkeye. Am I missing something here, or am I? No, you're on point. There's nine people like I think her uni- The first time she's on, I've seen sellers put first cover appearance uniform, blah blah blah. But no, I, I think that's uh, a couple issues before. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many through this run that uh, different people have gravitated to. There's the Young Avengers Presents book that is popular. There's Uh, this book. Oh, Speak of the Devil. Boom, I got it. Yeah, I never see that book either. Or the one before it. Ever. Yeah, that that book book has been hot for years. Yep. The thing uh, about the last book, though, I wanted to to add – was uh, Young Avengers 12 is the reason why I like this the importance of this and I think John was even talking about this in, in Hangouts the other day is that, yeah she is referred to as the as her alter ego name of Hawkeye in this book for the first time and that's important to a lot of comic book collectors um, it also is has a newsstand copy and also this is where um, uh uh, what's his name? The the kid, uh, Tommy Shepard. This is the actual book where I believe he becomes Speed. Okay. So we talked about six, and we we talked about how that's a hot book for a while. Yeah. This is this this was. It's funny. This was like a fifty cent uh, dollar book for a long time, and uh, you know it uh, it just out of nowhere it just became popular. And this is uh, basically um, the first. Uh, meeting of Clint Barton and Kate Bishop, and uh, it's you know it, it got hot for a while. I mean, it's it's leveled out a little bit, but uh, you know it's I can see it getting a little bit of heat. I just don't like the long term 
uh, I just don't like first meetup long term. I think those yeah. are quick flips. Isn't this also the first Matt Fraction, the first time Matt Fraction writes Hawkeye? Uh oh. Oh, wow. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I know Matt Fraction is the writer of this book. So, yeah, that was the selling point for, for the longest time. And then also, um, Barton, he, in the book, he, because she uses the, the code name Hawkeye, but he actually approves it. Like, he's like, making her own. Yes, you're the next Hawkeye. So, so to speak. Nice. And it's underrated by uh, Creator First. I know Brian McClay of our lovely channel uh, collects Creator First, too. So there's there's people out there who actually uh, take stock in that. So yeah. uh, speaking, oh, yeah. of, speaking of Fraction, let's, uh, let's run through the Fraction run. That I needed desperately. I needed. passed on one of these today for twenty bucks. Why? Uh, Hawkeye number one. We have multiple first appearances in this. Um, this is also the first issue of the famous, uh, infamous, whatever you want to put it, Matt Fraction run. Uh, the show, uh, the Disney Plus show, Hawkeye. Uh, the script is supposed to be based on this run. Um, also, there's uh, some in-story first appearances in this book, including Lucky the Pizza Dog, <laughs> the Tracksuit Mafia, and there's and and if you've seen uh, you know photos of recent set pictures, Lucky the Pizza Dog is confirmed. Yeah, um, I might actually have that too. Um, nope, I deleted it from last time. No, we we showed it last time, so that's cool. Yeah, Pizza then, Dog. We yeah, got, uh, we yeah got this, this is this book I like. I think this book has a ton of room to grow. If it, if uh, tracksuit mafia, if um, lucky the it's not worth or, anything, or well, yeah, it, it's above ratio, you know. But the thing is, just it, slightly, one in twenty, yeah, just slightly, one in twenty five added. It's a one in twenty five, right, uh, Carter? Uh, it's added, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know it. This map. Like, if you like the show, I think people are going to come back. This is one. This is one. This is one book that once the show uh, goes off, people could come back and go. You know what? I want to buy this book. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's a cool one. It was worth uh, more than it is now when Fraction was writing the Hawkeye series. Yeah, her. back in like twenty twelve or twenty. Yeah, or something I, like I mean, that. when I was when yeah. I was buying these books. Yeah, um, yeah, it's one. I've still got the copy I had from back then, mm -hmm. and it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> and then we're rolling to uh, Hawkeye two. The this is the first print. Yeah, this is the first print of Hawkeye number two, and um, you know, second second uh, issue of the uh, Fraction Run, which is very important. But uh, this is also the first team up of Clint Barton and uh, uh, Hawkeye and Kate Bishop Hawkeye. And they actually battle together in this book. There's multiple prints of this book, which um, we've all seen on the market go up and down, but right now are very affordable. Um, I like this book. It's it, it's fun. It's a good reader buzz book. Can I ask a dumb question? Sure. Yeah. Why isn't Hawkeye? Why does he shoot a recurve? That's a good point. What do you think? He should go compound. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Well, and the thing too is, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit of a nerd. They had the diagram at the bottom right over here with the you know, is it because of the, the Grand Off fucked it up and like you can't you can't shoot that yeah, way. Like, it's like it's like backwards and shit. Like, oh, that's a good point. I don't know. I mean, you got a silencer compound. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Anyways, sorry, um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Dumb question. Comedic uh, interlude. Oh, you're good. I gotta go take a shit. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Do. We got uh, okay, <laughs> this is the uh, number two third print. So. Yeah, that's the third print. That one is uh, very, according that's to Comicron numbers, low circulation. Or I'm sorry, low uh, low number of copies in circulation. Yeah. And uh, I love the beautiful purple cover. Oh, dude, it's dope. I'm oh, sure yeah. it's a hard nine eight. Eight, so. Seems like yeah. a nine eight. Do you guys take every late printing of Hawkeye when yes. you? Uh, yeah, I do too. Yes, every, yeah. every one of them. Cool. I uh, I think I've I've seen this book a couple times, and I'm like, I just I don't know, man. I just it's like Fantastic Four for me. I just roll through it. I mean, now I mean, obviously I didn't read it, but I mean, it's somebody's like, gotta buy you a trade paperback for. I know, sake. bro. I know. I know. Somebody <laughs> send it to me. 
Uh, then we have New what? Avengers 27. Yes, I have this book. Um, this is when, well, it's I, I should have added in there uh, New New Avengers 11, but we'll go ahead and skip the, to the 27. This is when Hawkeye becomes Ronin. Yep. And uh, a couple things about Ronin, um, you know, I thought at the beginning he'd be a one and done character in Endgame, but when D Plus came out, and things could have changed. I I, I don't know because I haven't heard anything, but. Um, when D Plus came out, there was a 10 minute uh, documentary on on D Plus, and it had D23, San Diego Comic Con from last year. And when Kevin Feige introduced Jeremy Renner to the stage, his exact words, paraphrasing, of course, was and reprising his role as Ronan, Woo! Jeremy Renner. And I couldn't believe not a lot of people saw. I mean, I've watched this thing like 20 times, so I decided to. Keep my stocks, including my beautiful newsstand, ninety. Perfect. Hey, uh, Nico, take over for me too after this one. Okay. Uh, so we got Mighty Avengers sixty four. Yes, this is uh, your first appearance of uh, Barney Barton, I believe his name is, and that is uh, Clint Barton's brother. He is supposed to be one of the antagonists, also in the Hawkeye series. Yeah, what's his name? Trick shot or? Well, I don't think he becomes trick shot in this book until later, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, skipping right ahead, uh, does this remain the most undervalued? Oh my uh, gosh! Tell me. In uh, Marvel Comics, I mean, I, look, I get that his suit sucks. Uh, like, I, I, I'm with everybody who's like, it's shitty fucking character design, uh, but he is. Uh, Sam Wilson's a stud. The actor that plays him is a stud, and he's fucking Captain America. I, I don't get it, uh, but I think the world's gonna get it as soon as he gets a D plus series. I, I'm so bullish on these D plus shows. Um, I think you guys uh, know me well enough to know that. Look, I, I don't sell uh, like hot books of the week, but I move like super hot books. Um, and I move them early and just kind of take my profits and 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 move on. Um, I mean, I'm holding all the Wanda stuff. I'm holding all the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be a slow burn for all of these series. And um, this is one that uh, I think is going to matter long term. Yeah, I, I own a copy of this book as well. I, it got graded at 7.0 white pages, and it's it's a beautiful cover. It just pops out. I mean, it is such a gorgeous cover. Um, I think it is also I – I don't want to use the word undervalued. I want to say I, – I guess you could, but I want to say there's just a ton of room to grow, and, I, and, and this is absolutely a book that investors could consider – Moderate, long term, definitely. Yeah, and when I say undervalued, I just mean that, uh, it, like, if I decided what things were yeah. worth, yeah, uh, in, in you know, like I was the arbiter of that, and not um, what people spend on eBay. Uh, <laughs> I think this one, uh, it deserves a lot more love than it gets. You know, what's funny about that uh, about Falcon, and it's just, we're still on on Falcon Winter Soldier here. I, I I think I don't know. At least for me. Falcon, like Black Widow, was like that on the Avengers team, was like that CD level character, right? And then we we found out there was going to be a show with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, what have you. And then we got the Super Bowl commercial with Sam Wilson with the Super Serum, and we saw him chuck that shield like uh, he was uh, like a discus in the in the Olympics, and that got me fired up. Like this guy is the future. Um, this is uh, Captain America 209. You got multiple in story first appearances. You have uh, the first full appearance, and I believe it's there's the origin of uh, Arnim Zola, who's that uh, geneticist, that mad geneticist scientist. Also, there's a uh, first appearance of Doughboy and Primus, which are uh, henchmen created by Zola. This is the two and one number fifty four. You have a uh, first appearance of multiple characters. 
um, powerful women characters that are, um, you know, speculated, rumored to, to appear in Falcon and the Winter Soldier and in She-Hulk. Um, I could go down the list for you if you'd like. Please. Um, there is the first appearance of Titania. Who um, is a major, uh, probably going to be the villain for uh, She-Hulk long term, right? Right, because she later becomes the uh, Las Chivas. Uh, I, I can't pronounce the name, but yes, correct, correct. Um, also, um, there's the first appearance of Screaming Mimi, uh, the first appearance of Pound Cakes, first appearance of Letha, and uh, there's also the team of, I guess, the when they're you know teamed up as the Grapplers, which is like a uh, a women's uh, wrestling team. This is also a death book in there. Deathlock dies in this book. Now, I know confirmed there is a Mark Jewelers insert uh, variant for this book. There could be a Canadian price variant. I don't know for sure. I don't own it. I haven't seen it, but I have seen a Mark Jewelers. Nice. Tell me about this bad boy. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is an important book, and I think this is a uh, very affordable, undervalued, as you would say, uh, Captain America two seventy five, which is the first appearance of the second Baron Zemo. And it, what's cool about this book is he's in his in his like you know actual costume, his classic costume. Um, there's uh, like I was saying before, there is Mark Jewelers, and there's also a Canadian price variants and newsstand copies of this book. What do you think about this book, Nico? I like it. Uh, I think Zemo is a big deal, and um, I'll be real interested to see, uh, you know, if this is one of those books that uh, just kind of takes people by storm um, when uh, the series is released, or you know, if it uh, it it's just going to be interesting for me, right? Like. Uh, we saw movement on uh, uh, some Star Wars books. We saw less movement on others. Uh, will this be a big winner or kind of a winner? You know, I don't know. Uh, if Zemo rolls out the way that uh, he did on the commercial, people could go bonkers. I agree. I agree. Carter, thoughts? I have this book. Um, I, you know, I. I bought it just just in case, but I Mark. But the cover is kind of plain Jane, so it, I, it it'll be a slow burn, I think. It's the boots. Yeah. How about this bad boy? Yeah, this is uh this is that first appearance of uh, that Wolverine uh, uh, antagonist uh, Ogun. Yeah. And, uh, recent set photos of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, revealed a uh, Madripoor, um, like a, a gang from Madripoor, and on the guy's jacket, he had the Ogun symbol. So many are speculating that Ogun could appear in Falcon and Winter Soldier. And if he doesn't, there will be at least a, or possibly could be a decent sized Easter egg. Yeah, and for the record, uh, there's always kind of like the second uh, chance with. Uh this book because Kitty Pride and Wolverine are the real deal. Absolutely. I a hundred percent agree. Just you know, checking yeah. in guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, Brian, we're, uh, we're not live. We're not allowed to go live by management, but we are recording. Right. So, uh, we'd love, uh, love to, uh, talk to you and hear what you got to say. Well, uh, right now, unfortunately, as you guys can see, I'm, uh, outside on the patio. But uh, that's one I, of the uh, reasons why we're no longer allowed to go live. It's because of the violation of our morals clause. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, I just want to check in and see how you guys are doing. I'll uh, I'll be on there shortly. We you know where you belong, and we'll see you soon. Uh, my <laughs> you belong here with us. Uh, yeah. Can I mention to hell with modern comic mayhem? All right, next. Yeah, we have uh, this. This is an awesome book. I love the cover too. It's uh, Captain America 312. You have your direct edition here. Um, but uh, this is your first appearance of the Flag Smasher. <laughs> and he's classic. Uh, I just love this book. There's also a uh, 
There is a confirmed Canadian price variant and also a Mark Jewelers insert variant for this book. It's a great cover. Just such a great cover. Bada bang. Um, well, I don't know how much faith you have in uh, the organization or, or what have you of Ultimatum, but uh, this is the first uh, appearance of Ultimatum, uh, team appearance, I could say. And um, yeah, this is that book. I, I don't know. I don't really have faith in Ultimatum personally, but you know, if he's gonna, if they're gonna be in Falcon Winter Soldier, it's probably a book you want to look for. How many nine eights on that census? Bro, for real, right? Uh, I mean, to hell with Ultimatum. Uh, it's just a, an incredible cover, and like, I get that it's not Cap with uh, the Uzi. Uh, <laughs> But it's, it's, still, it's still hot. It's still hot. Exactly. And uh, shit, I want one of those. Um, oh, God, the USA. I can't remember the number. But like every time I see uh, Cap with like a machine gun on a Golden Age comic, I'm like, so what would I have to sell? How many pints of blood would I have to sell? Who would I have to kidnap and uh, hold for ransom to get my uh, hands on a copy of that one? Uh, this is an alternative. Uh, how about this one? God, I love I wish, I wish Chris Clay was here, dude. He loves them too. I love them. I love them. I mean, even the new ones too. They're awesome. Um, so we have Captain America uh, 323, which uh, is the first appearance of John Walker, which most of us know is uh, the Super Patriot, and then later becomes the U.S. agent, who is will be in every episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. There's also multiple other... Uh, appearances but uh including the bucklers is that what they're called the bucklers yeah <laughs> that's an important book and then 333 is actually uh very important as well because that's when um john walker becomes the uh captain america takes the captain america mantle um i guess that's the, the third or fourth captain america i believe it's the fourth captain america and uh it's not an easy book to find yep maybe for you guys because you guys can find anything but not for me i have never seen this book in a while oh uh, there yeah there's not there's none left i mean all, all these ones have been, are gone at this yeah, point yeah they, they were they were gone a year ago right yeah <laughs> all, all of these just gone let's go to the next one keep going keep, keep going. going yeah next one right here now this is the book i like this is uh captain america 354 and this is when john walker the u.s agent um, I'm sorry, the uh, Super Patriot actually becomes the U.S. agent. And I, I love the cover of this book, and I think this is so important, you know. Another easy 9-8. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, newsstand copies, direct copies, um, confirmed Mark Jewelers insert edition copy, and um, I would imagine there's probably a Canadian price variant because it's in that window. Yeah, all that, everything we've looked at, Dirt cheap. Right. Exactly. This one's a little more expensive, but still 45 bucks maybe. Uh, you know, it, uh, it's funny. I was going to ask you guys about this before, but, you know, since we're already talking about it, let's bring it up. It's uh, the Thunderbird. Uh, Thunderbird's first appearance. And uh, this is Incredible Hulk 4. I think it's 449. Um, now, they weren't announced on uh, Disney's Investor's Day. Okay. But it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It's not going to, there, there will not be an appearance or uh, at least a, a strong Easter egg or a mention. And I believe it's, uh, it's, it's under, under cost, under value right now. And I think there's still enough time to jump in at, at an investor's point of view. So speaking of books that weren't announced, I told Carter today that I hope this book fucking crashes. <laughs> so I <can> buy <laughs> I'm like, crash, baby. Yeah. Uh, same with uh, Elsa Bloodstone. I don't know if that's in the, uh, you know, wasn't announced, but I'm like, please, God, just let those books crash. I've got uh, a need to buy as many as I can. Here's the uh, thing going against you with Elsa Bloodstone is, is she's all, she's she's a hit right now in the current co comics that are that are dropping. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm fucked. I'm fucked on Blue Marvel. Fucked on Elsa Bloodstone. I got no shot. This is just like me and my bad joking. On my list of uh, things that I, I don't see ever, I never see this, and I sure as hell never see this. 
The last they, time, hey, the last time I saw that cover was what, 2005, 2006. <laughs> <laughs> No shit. Yeah, but brutal. Brutal. Okay. <laughs> it's brutal. But just uh, every other cover. Yeah. Like, it, dude, it's, it's, go dude, ahead. I thought about moving to Cleveland. Uh, you've had so many of those Adam and the Blue Marvels. I've never seen Do they only distribute them to Cleveland, Ohio? <laughs> Bucky gets him in Pittsburgh. Carter gets him everywhere he goes. Well, right, they, right. Yeah, the Blue Marble books, I think it's under 20,000 ordered. Yeah, yeah, but, wow. yeah, but only, uh, don't worry, all 20,000 of them were delivered to uh, <laughs> Carter uh, so, by, by way so, of a third party. Uh, by way of a third party. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about uh, this. There's there's uh, two versions, right? Yes. Um Remember when the second print was so hot? Geez. Uh, now, this is the actual uh, first time that, uh, you know, Falcon Sam Wilson becomes Captain America. Um, you know, I like the second print. There's not a lot of copies out there. And I really like, I enjoy the blue. But uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. There was a discretion for a while, uh, maybe a year or two ago. Uh, you guys probably remember. It was a, another Captain America book where Sam Wilson wore a Halloween costume. And they were calling that the first. Uh, Sentinel. Right. Sentinel the Liberty. It's yeah. the first time he put on the costume. This is the first time he this is the was actual. Captain America. Right. You know what I mean? Embodied the character. Yes. And if you're, uh, I think they're both important. You know what I mean? I, I don't yeah. know that any of them are going to light the world on fire per se, but um, I, I'd buy them all. It, the one to get is this one, the second print, right? In my opinion. Absolutely. Absolutely. I yeah, mean, it's, it's the pain in the ass. You, you, know, how I feel, you know how I feel about late printings. You know, I, I, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest I'm a fan. Yeah, so. I'm not a Homer. Like all late printings are cool, right. but this is one that like makes sense book. to me. Yeah, I agree. Uh, here's a book that makes sense to me that hasn't gone nuclear. Ooh, I like that one. Hold on, Carter. Slow, slow, slow down. Yep. You're killing me here. Uh, Carter pulls up all the, the gems. All right, bear with me. <laughs> Slowly. I may never get back to this screen. Uh, we're going to see if I can do this. Oh! oh. oh. Okay, so those are those. Never so seen we have those. Nice. Okay, I forget what ratio this is. but uh, I think it's 1 in 15 or 1 in 25. Let me see. I, I think 1 in 50. Is it maybe? a 1 in 50? I, I believe so. Hmm. And where where is this? You're right. It is a one in fifty. What am I? And thinking? I believe this is a one in twenty five or one in fifty. The uh, oh, this is the man. Adam That's Hughes. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Bang. Yeah. And uh, also, all new Captain America, number one, Alex Ross. Yes. Oh, that thing's so hard to find. Yeah. So don't forget. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Bang bang. I don't know how the hell I had these, but I did. Okay. All right. Now let's see if somehow we can get back to Fuck Where me. Did the dog go? You just took off? Uh, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Uh, let's see. Oh, if yeah. I'm smart. Don't forget oh, this. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. God bless America. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. The Deadpool variant. Damn it. It's dope. I believe one in 25. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry. No, I appreciate it. I, I turned it. all of those down because I'm also El Cheapo. I didn't want to pay for them at the time. And all my LCSs put them above ratio. Mm -hmm. Why is this book not uh, on fire yet? Um, I, I just think that, you know, after the, the, the Holy Trilogy, you know, 48 through 50, and then the the uh, what you call it, the uh, Adam Warlock book. People just stopped looking for Fantastic Four, and you know this is the first Agatha Agatha Harkness, and I think this book has a ton of room to grow. I think it's undervalued, and I think people need to keep their eyes open for this book because I think long term. I have one lousy copy, uh, and it drives me nuts, and I look for it everywhere. It's also a Jack Kirby cover too, you, you know, so. and a chip shot nine eight. I'll tell you what, um, <laughs> after all those those hard, um, those really hard keys in Fantastic Four, a book like this, yeah. people feel that they can find it at any time. 
This is yeah. the type of book that uh, they feel that they see at the sh at the shop, and they'll just go, "Oh, okay, I'll I'll, I'll get it whenever." Totally agree. That's no actually a great point. Great point. They just figured they it, it, well, this isn't going to be on their list because they figured you know mm -hmm. after the Holy Trilogy, you guys see them? Adam Warlock, they're over it. Do you guys see I, him in the wild? No, I'm definitely in the wrong state to see. I have four comics, ten comics in a back issue bin. I like, swear it's the type of book that I that I see, but I never like, but I never really notice. You know what I mean? I'll buy anything under twenty five cents. Yeah, I never see this book. It drives me fucking nuts. Who's the? Does anybody remember what the actress's name is? Uh, Catherine. Catherine Hahn. Yes. Woo. Well done, guys. All right, uh, passed on one of these today. It just wasn't nice enough. Go ahead, uh, Nico. I'll let you take this one. Go ahead. This yeah, so uh, I saw two uh, Vengeance uh, ones today. Uh, one was the ratio. They wanted 500 for a copy that was not a 9.8. Hold up. And was it raw? Raw. Okay. Okay. And they not a 9.8. Uh, oh. They wanted $150 for a copy that was barely a VF um of vengeance one i, I get that uh vengeance one is um a, a tough book in high grade and i get that the diodato variant is uh as bad as they come um but i'm not spending 500 dollars on a not a 98 raw candidate but uh like the other guys here i am el cheapo <laughs> it's my it's catching on. it's catching on. <laughs> yeah. They call me Chinty <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's who I am. <laughs> Sorry. It's just it's, it's who I am. And I love America Chavez. A lot of people cry and belly ache and they're like, hey, her superpower is not that cool. She kicks a hole in the fucking like doors to like like in reality and creates like doors to other universes. That's fucking cool. Um, you know, I like the actress. She seems uh, like she was well cast, uh, but uh, you know, um, I'm, I've not been a fan of her character development. Uh, I think uh, Feige and Company is going to do a hell of a lot better job with her uh, than they've ever done in paper comics, um, which could mean uh, a lot for her long term. Um, but you know, again, these are like minority opinions, uh, by me. What do you guys think? I'm pressing and holding mine because I sold mine, uh, uh, maybe a year or two ago, but it, it was to make a major purchase and I don't want to pull savings. It's like, ah, I have this and all right, boom. Uh, and some, uh, and some other books, but, uh, and then I was pissed. Same thing with the uh, Moon Girl. The uh, you know, help me with the name. The with the variant. I uh, can't remember the artist, but yeah, the, the number one variant. Yes, uh, that and I think like four or five other books. But I bought a vehicle. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I, I dumped all of my Vengeance ones and a lot as soon as uh, she was cast. Um, I knew she was confirmed. People who were smart knew she was confirmed, and they paid top dollar for those books in a live auction, and <laughs> I was done with them. Uh, you know, maybe I'll find some more. Maybe I don't. Carter held on to uh, the variants, correct, I got, sir? I got two copies. Neither of them are a 9-8, but that's okay. You sure as hell yeah. didn't pay $500 for one. Hell no. I, I paid you. I got one for 30 something and that was like, that was too much you at the time. Yeah, at the time. Stretched. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Um, I passed the book up for like 30 something. And then I called up the store and had him ship it to me after a second thought. Nice. I know where you got that one. <laughs> I, know. I, uh, I got my first copy uh, when God country dropped oh well uh because i had i don't know like 10 copies of god country number one and it was uh an old cbsi chat so he's like hey is anybody ever got i said yeah i got one like you want to trade I'm like yeah all right cool what do you got he's like i got this vengeance <laughs> number one 
variant. Nice, right? did nice. Done, done. Right. Somebody, somebody's still upset about that one. Uh, Is there hope for this book? Nope. I was just asking this the other day. I don't understand why it's so low price. There are that many copies out there. This is yeah. uh this is that uh there's two versions of this and I guess this would be technically the newsstand version since it was sold, you know, outside yeah. of Hong Kong. Well, I think there's three versions, right? So there's, there's uh, a die cut too, right? There's a, this there's, is a die cut. This is the, the die cut right here. But there's like my understanding and I may be wrong about this, I think there's a deluxe a not deluxe and a newsstand. No, no. There's no, okay. So at least I, I haven't seen it and I've been searching for a long time and I've been looking at databases at even on the boards. All I know is, is that this was offered outside of distribution. It was offered, you know, outside of comic shops. Interesting. I cut whatever. I've never seen this heart on here where it's not die cut. And you know, anybody, I've never, I've never seen that. No. Yeah, I got to look. And then the people also think that the following issue is the full appearance. I, I've never bothered to open them up to look. Uh, <laughs> Talos, <laughs> yeah, Talos, Talos, whatever. I was just like, the question Scrawl. is that. He, he Mel is, likes me to scrolls. That's about the only fucking person I know that gives a shit about scrolls. But he's got, okay, look. <laughs> he's got a major role, and he's been across so many movies. Talos. Well, ben Mendelsohn's a stud. Oh, totally. right, and, and like the character's cool. I just, for whatever reason, I can't get behind. Uh, the, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why it is. Like, uh, hmm. it's that, that's me. That's a me thing. That's not a Talos thing. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's strange to me. I mean, it's a five, uh, four dollar book, five dollars six. I think the most I've ever seen it was like eighteen bucks. You know, it's about to be a fucking mini series on Disney <laughs> Plus, though. <laughs> Maybe time to dig them out. You know, I know, right. They're everywhere in my house, like dude. Everywhere. And, and Ben Mendelsohn again is a stud. I mean, every time that guy's on a TV show, I'm like, I'll watch it. I don't care what it's about. I'll watch every episode and I'll enjoy it. Um, he was in that horror show. God, what was it? Uh, on HBO. Exceptional. It was so good. It was exceptional. Actually, if you really think about it, if somebody pitched me that idea, I'd be like, that's dumb. But it, oh, Ben Mendelsohn's going to be in that? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> they pulled it off perfect. Just this monster guy, like who's a demon or a devil. You know, it was right. great. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Is there, a, uh, add this to my list of like, I don't know if I ha even have any of these books. <laughs> but, I mean, there's this. This is the third print, right? I, I thought that was all like a one in 75. McDavid. Oh, that's the one in 75. There's a third. No print. one has that book. Which one? That the one. one in 75. Yeah. Do you have that book? I, I think, think I Sleepy, that book. I think Sleepy just sold one. Yeah, of course you have that book, Carter. That was me. That was me. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Rich is excited to sell it. Carter the got two ratio. The one I have is like uh, half the normal. Uh, this this cover half, and then the other half is black and white. Like it goes into a black and white. I think I thought that was a one in seventy five. Maybe it's a one in twenty five. But I just sold for sixty bucks on hip. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I've had it as low as ten bucks, and then when I heard all that, I just yep. I just raised it up to see what would happen. <laughs> it sold fast. I was like, whoa! I could have got more. <laughs> uh, as the uh, old guys say, take the money and run. Yeah, it's Secret Evasion One. There's, I mean, I think, I think the data online uh, has the, around 300,000 copies in circulation. You know, at least, you know. So, and there's tons of store variants. A quarter million. A quarter million. Okay. Wow. You know, and then the thing is, is there's no real first appearance. No real number. It's just, it's, just a, it's a, it's a, it's a story arc. It's the beginning of a story arc. Um, can we talk about one that, that is uh, yeah. much uh, more coveted? Yes. Well, here we have uh, uh, Vince Boyerman number nine. Uh, most of us are familiar with also the same run, but number seven, which is uh, with this one, you have the first full appearance of Riri Williams. And uh, you have the uh, – that's the first time that uh, she's actually in the armor, supposedly, what have you. Um, number seven is her first appearance in Cameo. Um, there are later printings with of this with a, her face. Ew. And, 
uh, I think, you know, <laughs> and then that's the big boy. Yeah, this is the big boy. This I, is the, I sold the yeah. 9.8 uh, before the announcement, uh, but after the price yeah, jump. Buddy. And I was excited about it uh, because I think I paid $40 for um, the copy that, of the raw book. Uh, I'm excited about Riri Williams, but um, the price tag that this thing commands, say la vie. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, I, I've never seen a, a near mint raw copy under three hundred bucks ever. So, yeah, it's yeah, a great I bought, book. I mean, hey, I found one for fifteen dollars on the same day that I found uh, those two copies of Clone Wars number one. <laughs> that was wow. the be best best day ever, literally. Wow, my relevant. Invincible Iron Man story is buying, uh, and this is in Westerville. Uh, Sleepy's already gone, but uh, they 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 package all of the Invincible Iron Mans together, one through nine, and like like a uh, like a Golden Age bag or something, and suck it like as a a bundle. It was like. $25, but I had the woman in power variant, variant of seven, also seven, also nine, and also the variant. So, good. I was like, well, I'm still, I was like, at, at the time it happened, I was like, can I, do you mind if I open it and look at them? Cause I I didn't know any of that shit. All I saw was like, all right, cool. Can I see him? And there was so much tape that the guys opened the bag, and I'm I almost had a stroke. Cause there was so much tape. They, they used like the the super sticky tape that you know, like oh, I'm like can I open it? And he's like, no, store rules. I have to open it. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, okay. And yeah, like I said, I almost, had, I almost had to put a wooden spoon in my mouth. Oh, but geez. yeah, dude, it that was in there. I was like, cool. But at the time, it it wasn't shit. Like uh, the wooden power variant, maybe a hundred bucks in a ninety at the time. Whatever. But it was, the question yeah. is, did you pull the trigger? Fuck yeah. My man. Kidding. Sorry. All right. Pardon so me. another TVA appearance, Richie. Yes. Uh, going back to the Loki series, this is your first uh, appearance and cameo of Justice Love. Now, the reason why I bring this up, there's a couple of reasons actually, but uh, this is your first full appearance of Justice Love. And I think these books could be important. Um, they're a speculator's dream. 50 cent dollar book. I think at the most I've ever seen online for a nine, eight worthy copy was like dollars plus shipping. And, um, you know, it, it, justice love is justice pieces partner. Um, also this is a she Hulk book and, you know, um, we are running into D plus, even though TVA is a part of Loki, you know, it just so happens that She-Hulk is also coming to Disney Plus. I don't know. I'm kind of just reading the tea leaves here, connecting them. Yeah, you you don't have to be a fucking uh, a but, neuroscientist to figure this one out. I think it's yeah. a great, great play, dude. Exactly. It's cheap. It's lo it's it's what we, what we look for as as modern comic investors: low risk, high reward. What the hell is this? Now this is um, this is I, it's uh, with Mr. Mobius. I think it's like his origin. I, oh wow! I, I don't know how that's been there to be this honest. This just up passed up at Elwood City on like ten copies, just sitting. Damn! There. I, I get, yeah, I've never like seen idiot. that book. Yeah, like a dumb dumb. I should have looked for it when I was at uh, Elwood. Tell me about, and we talked about that one earlier. This is the one I really want to talk right. about, guys. So. Uh, well, I look. I know. Uh, I know you're happy, and uh, I know Carter. You're happy. Also, yes. an old city pickup, and 
uh, a different, but yeah. Yeah, Carter, are you happy about this book? I love this book. I, I remember years ago, like, uh, just like talking about it and breaking down Monica Rambo, and uh, it's good to see that her uh, her time has finally come. Richie, what do you think? How big of a deal is it? Big deal. <laughs> so she's going to be first uh, appearing in January, maybe February. On sorry, one we're ed- I know we're editing this. That's why. Sorry. You caught me putting in a big dip on my life. place. was all weird. Like this. Yeah, we're, we're definitely right. not editing this. I've been, be okay. Okay. I know. I know. So, okay. So I've been waiting for us to get to this book. Um, I've brought this book up with uh, Nico uh, multiple times on the phone. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 16. This is your first appearance of Monica Rambeau. Now, here's the thing. I have passed this book so many times. I was talking to Ben, Mr. Oh. Longford, about this. Within the last two year, a year and a half, two years, at between 12 to 20 bucks for high-grade top oh. And now we're at, you know, uh, three, four times that amount. But still, it's still at an amount that is not too late for investors, speculators alike, to jump in and get a, a decent uh, return on investment down the line. I think this character has legs. Dude, I mean, so the book's going to pop. Uh, I'm confident of it when she shows up on WandaVision in January or February. She'll be the breakaway star. It's not going to be Agatha Harkness. No, uh, hell no. Right? Like, hell I mean, no. and don't get me wrong. Like, I like that Agatha Harkness book too. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be the House of M cover. I mean, that's going to be a flash in the pan. She'll be the character that has legs uh, because she's the character that they're already featuring as, you know, the big super powered hero that's going to try to go head to head against uh, Wanda um, at the end of that series where they say it's going to be like Avengers level action. Um, then they're going to double down on her um, in the Captain Marvel sequel with Kamala Khan. Um, I, I got uh, all the faith in the world in uh, Monica Rambeau have been buying every copy I see for less than 20 bucks uh, for the last year or so. And um I mean, I should say every nice copy I see for less than 20 bucks. Um, yeah, but uh, who knows how high it's going to go. Yeah, I, I, I dig this too because, you know, I believe Monica Rambeau is actually Captain Marvel in this book. You know? she's the, Yeah, she's the first female Captain Marvel. Right, and, it, and it, it, I think the point being is, is that it's, it's giving you an angle of how powerful she can be. They put that, they translate that to Disney Plus and the, the UCU, so to speak. Um, good luck. <laughs> That's powerful. Uh, all right. So we uh, we got just a, a couple more. Um, I don't know what the hell this book is. Help me. Okay. First meeting, isn't that the first meeting between the and Hulk that, and She Hulk? Dal had been put it up earlier. Uh, that's, about, that's what I was asking about. You know, do, yeah. do we think these first meetings have legs? Like, I'm, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm half and half. I, you know, and the better half of me says yes. But, um, you know, you have the first uh, time that Bruce Banner, um, Jen Walters' cousin, is battles with her, and you know, uh, crossover, so to speak, uh, meets in this book. Um, also, just to let you guys know, there is confirmed a Mark Jewelers insert for this book. I do own that book. But yeah, I mean, do we do? Do you guys, I mean, the panel and Nico, do you guys think that uh, these are something speculators will be looking for down the line? This book was hot a year ago mm-hmm. um, when uh, there was like a lot of speculation on the She-Hulk um, TV show. And uh, it, then, it, then it cooled off. Um, I'm not sure about prices now because I remember seeing a copy for like $10 like a month ago. You know okay. what I mean? Uh-huh. And I and I had bought copies, you know, last year. So I think um, near mint uh, copies of the newsstand go mm-hmm. for as high as a hundred dollars. And I've seen uh, the direct editions around like sixty-five bucks. Um, the Mark Jewel is a premium, that's a rarity, and we won't even talk about that. But point being is is that 
Yes, part of your right. I, I have seen peaks and valleys with this book, definitely. Mm -hmm. and it's held a little bit of value. I mean, it is a it is a yeah, but... near Hulk book, so but it's a classic cover, and it's the first time these two, you know, meet. I, a lot of to be honest with you, I didn't even realize or know about this book until the announcements came out early this year. You know, and uh, I dig it. Yeah, very cool. Uh, what the hell is this? So this is, uh, I, heard, uh, I believe this is a, a 284. Now, this is the first time that we have, remember, we have a War Machine uh, announcement. Oh, that's right. There was a War Machine announcement. And, Why was that uh, like the like the unmemorable announcement for me? Like, I don't even think that made the graphic I showed. Oh, huh, really? I, I actually think it's going to be pretty cool. Plus, you know. Yeah, dude, I love Don Cheadle. He's a stud. But for some reason, uh, you know, he's been kind of like the forgotten character. Um, in the MCU, and well, uh, this could be really his time to shine, Man, anymore. we don't have an Iron Man anymore. Yeah, dude, and, this could be his time to shine. I right. like. Have you seen the Don Cheadle uh, TV show on Showtime or HBO where he plays a management consultant? Oh, you mean Black Monday or Black? No, no, nah, nah, it's about five years old. I remember. You know, yeah, I remember it's that show. Exceptional. Yeah. If you get a chance, uh, yeah, it's well, hilarious. Yeah, there's anyway. one. There's one on Showtime. He plays a uh, owner of a of a uh, stock or uh, what do you call it? Yeah, uh, that that one's out now. I heard it's good too, uh, but Black I have not Monday seen it. With that. Yeah, it's good. No, you're right, Black Monday. The the other one is an older show um, where he plays the, a management consultant who's uh, you know willing to cross some moral lines, but it's hilarious. Point given, though. Point uh, that I was trying to get to was is that we don't have an Iron Man anymore, and people like there's a lot of fans, including myself, for the suit. I don't know when we're going to get to Riri. I don't know if she's going to come through this show or, or another. But uh, you know, having a War Machine uh, Disney Plus situation, uh, it makes me a little bit excited. Now I get to see a, you know an Iron Man suit flying around. This is actually uh, the first appearance of Rhodey putting on a suit, but he's, I, I believe in this book, he's referred to as Iron Man because Tony is supposedly dead at this point. Now, why is this book so important? Issue one and issue 12 is the first appearance of the twins, right? This is the first mini series for uh, Scarlet Witch and the Vision. Um, you're, you're talking to me. Um, okay, so the, anybody, I'm just kind of, I'm trying, I'm trying to make a uh, a new resolution to yeah. uh, ask dumb questions so that yeah. um, our podcasts are accessible to uh, novice collectors because sometimes we get accused of uh, only talking to advanced collectors and um, yeah. The reason why this is important is this. Advanced collectors. The first appearance of uh, Vision, at least in in ninety five percent of collectors' mind, when you first think of Vision, is Avengers fifty seven, the Silver Age appearance, right? And then you have your uh, you know tales of uh, was it tales of suspense of uh, of uh, what's her name Wanda. But this is your first solo titled, um, yes, uh, tales of suspense. It, I don't know if that's it, but uh, that's the yeah, you know, first. First Black Widow up there. Okay, okay, but uh, this is the first solo titled uh, series with Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Now we're about to approach WandaVision, which is all about you know uh, trials and tribulations of Vision and Scarlet Witch together. Um, and yeah, it's X Men Four first Scarlet Witch. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. X Men Four would be the first Scarlet Witch. I, I don't have a picture of that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so you were, I, you were just, it, it's like there's that Dina. It's like one o'clock in the morning. At, you're allowed to make uh, slips of the tongue. I was just trying to. Well, we're uh, editing this, right? We're gonna definitely edit not gonna edit anything. Nobody will ever edit anything. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, they say that they're gonna edit things that never happens. But but that's what's important though is is that you know we're we're uh, Nico we're priced out. Um, as the average collector of those first appearance books. So what do we look for next? We look for the first solo series, first solo title. And those are, you know, history has shown once a character blows up, those books also blow up. And then okay. dirt chip. I see this book in boxes everywhere. All right, just a couple more. Um, this one's easy. 
Um, I see them everywhere uh, for a buck or, you know, uh, cover price. It's uh, Peggy Carter with the shield. Uh, that's what we're going to see on the What If Animated series. Uh, this book was hot for a minute uh, before. Uh, I suspect it'll see a little bit more interest and you'll have one last chance to move your copies. I don't, I, know, know right? <laughs> I don't know what they're moving for right now, but like many of these books, don't be the last guy holding them. They are not long-term investment books. Uh, and the final slide. Any go Holy shit. Vote oh, number one. No, <laughs> that's a travel no, no. number two. Uh, that's uh, salty. But no, there, there wasn't there a variant for the Exiles too. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the Exiles also. Um, the book you just showed there, there wasn't there a variant. Yes, there's a variant. Um, if she's on the cover, like uh, like Captain America holding the shield with the yellow. It was like uh it was like woman uh the old the old school like Uncle Dan like, photo like this. Yeah, absolutely that. Yeah, fancy. Yeah, we can do it. I'm All pissed. Right. So guys, uh now that we've made people endure an hour and a half of our rambling, it's time for the moment that they've all been waiting for. Uh, what has pejoratively been referred to as show and tell by those who are not as smart as us about comics. Um, time for pickups. Oh. Carter. Okay. You sick fucking maniac. Show, show the world, show the world the what you've done. Show them what you've done. When I want to say. I love <laughs> okay. Um, boom, this, I found this today. You no know, good SOB. Uh, this cost me 25 bucks. Well done. So Hawkeye, two, Hawkeye, no, all new Hawkeye, number two, uh, what is this, the 125 variant? Absolutely. What the hell is it selling for now? I don't know. You know Dude, what? That's a great, it's a great looking book. I, yeah, I, I freaking love it. I like this long term. Love this long term. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a keeper for me. I've got one copy, I think, yeah. and uh, it's not going anywhere. I have I have no clue how this book was still there. Okay, next up. Next up, uh, we have found this for seven. Actually, found two copies for seven bucks a piece. Uh, Rogue One, number one. Joe, Joe Quinones variant. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mr. Quinones? Hello? Quinones? Hello? Hello? Okay, next up. Um, ooh, I like this one a lot. Got this for eight. I, how the fuck was this still there? Okay, the first few stores that I went to, I went searching for uh, Star Wars. All that, all of it was depleted. All of it, and I'm and I'm thinking to myself, okay, maybe uh, like whatever Star Wars keys I have, just be happy I got them. You know what I'm saying? Just be happy I got them. And and just keep and just move on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have a uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, number one. What is this? The one in eh, what is this? One in twenty-five? I have no I idea, know. but yeah. But the last but the last time I checked, this book is going for a nice hundred. A nice, nice, nice hundred. As they say, bang them. <laughs> That's what's up. Hell yeah. Okay. Now, I wish we had some Star Wars aficionados uh, up here. Okay, I found Jesus this. Christ. Found this. So we have Star Wars Insider number 168. It's still sealed. It's got the cards and everything. I have no clue what – I don't know what this is. I know it. Had, I know it's Sabine Wren on the cover, but it's a I don't know. It's exclusive, and it's an easy hundred dollars. It might be uh, more. Uh, yeah, I I don't you know. can't buy one if you want one on eBay, right? Right. There's nothing. But there's got to be at least as expensive as the Ahsokas. You can actually buy the Ahsokas. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, hey. I, I saw this, and this was the this thing was in absolute plain sight. I was freaking out when I saw. It. I'm just like. Really? Really? Oh, for me? For me? Okay. I'm buying you. For Shag It All and for Shellings. And now here's a book that uh, I hey, talked wait. about. Hey, I'm sorry, uh, Gary. Can I, can I interrupt real quick? I'm sorry. Uh, 
Where, where, where do people buy Star Wars Insider books? Dude, they're magazines. just they're just all over the place. Like, yeah, yeah, in, the, like in the magazine sections of comic shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like you just gotta ask. Any place you go, you just gotta ask. Like, hey, where's your magazines? And then, yeah. there you go. And here's a book that I have been. Uh, Get uh, the fuck out of here. Specking going. Now, I bought this book a long, uh, about a month ago. Great cover. But um, this book is a bitch to find. Yeah, it is. I've never seen one. Yeah, I bought this book for like 15 bucks, uh, probably like a month or two ago. Uh, I did. I really didn't know what it was. I just, I just know I like the cover. And um, and this is a consistent hundred dollars. I'd like to see this book uh, at auction. Because all of the sales were buy it nows. Uh, a nine eight uh, went for three hundred a couple of days ago. Um, consistent sales buy it nows of a hundred. But I'd like to see this book go to auction. Wow! So, and that is that's my that's my pickups. Woo! Lord of mercy. Well done, sir. Congratulations. Uh, uh, hold it. Okay. okay. Rich, can you tell? Is there? Can, can you? You, got anything? you know anything about this? You ever seen it before? I've never even seen it before. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Don't worry. Neither is Carter uh, or Jessup. Uh, <laughs> is that is that a normal size book or is that a magazine? Uh, Star Wars Insider. Star Wars Insider number one sixty eight. We'll ask the Star Wars nerds and get back yeah, to you. Star Wars okay. nerds will be all over that. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Trying to get my buddy Evan to come on. Oh, pickups, Carter. Thank you, yeah. Richie. Did you, uh, did you grab any books? I know you got a uh, truckload yeah, of boxes and boxes of FOC books from the last four weeks. Or, uh, or are you, are you kind enough to share a little bit with us? Yeah, I mean, you know, I just uh, to let just to let people know that we don't just talk about books. We spend too much money on them. Yeah, you know, I I I, I invested in these and smart forgot about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> And when I picked it up, I realized I had 10 of them in there. And then <laughs> Golden Apple sent me 10 more. So I'll have 20. Nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, this is your first, uh, this is the second print of Darth Vader number six, your first appearance of uh, Ochia Bastoon. Uh, most of us know him as the Sith Assassin. And you have your first cover here. Sick. I got a bunch of these and I keep pulling them out of the box. A bunch, and I've already pre-sold uh, close to eleven, but Wait I for have it. Two more left. Boom! <laughs> and I uh -oh, actually, damn it! I ended up getting four of these. I just found my fourth tonight. I had no idea, but I realized that uh, because my my brick and mortar um, person mm -hmm. that do the final order cutoff, she's really cool. She she'll double my order, but if I let's say if it's a one in twenty five and I only order ten, she'll get me there. And then Damn. she she get she gives me the uh, incentive for cover price. She's awesome, really strong. Um, yeah, pay raise. Pay uh, raise. Sorry, go pay ahead. Raise. <laughs> yeah, give her more money. She's making you money. I uh, ended up uh, these finally showed up. I mean, you know, they're not really much, but I, I like uh, I like the Batman series, and I like Jock. You know, the the covers those. Uh, oh wow. You know, they're exclusives, but, um, you know, it took a couple months to show up, and I think they're cool. And um, there wow. is a gorgeous. Of the Ghost Maker in here in Cameo, and it's actually a really strong Cameo, too. And a lot of new comic book day books. I got a bunch of local comic. I, I, I ordered every single local comic shop day book. Um, I've already sold all the something is killing the children's the ones I have left are like ice cream man witcher um, uh, The invincible I got stacks of those So nice. yeah, I, I got I got a lot of uh, foc books here. My whole room is actually <laughs> <laughs> Good <Here>. stuff, buddy <laughs> Damn That's Yeah, it, it is <laughs> but tomorrow I will be this will be perfect Good stuff. You don't, you don't want to see my basement. So, uh, Jessup, did you bring books with us? I I, I heard that you had robbed uh, uh, half price books. Oh, I, 
Yeah, but I only brought a few up because. All right, that's that's what we want to say. <laughs> do it, do it, do okay. it. <clears throat> I got this, uh, and it, I'm not even sure what it is. Uh, it could be like one or like four books, but I'll save the rest. Nice. Uh, I love that sound. <laughs> Opening a Gemini. Yeah. I probably kill myself. I'm hammered. Okay, don't kill yourself. Please. You're perfect. Well, I'm not going to kill myself, but... All right, well, don't maim yourself. That'll be the final violation yeah. of the morals clause, and then uh, they'll <laughs> officially that? remove us from the internet. Well... Having fun. I'm having a great time. I can't have that. I'm, ha I'm happy Dino was here to supervise us for a little bit. You noticed that as soon as he left, McClay showed up also to supervise us? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't. Hmm. I just dropped my knife on my foot. For the bad news gang. God damn it. <laughs> These boys. <laughs> oh, good. I thought you cut your toe off or something. This is some brutal tape. Sorry. I don't mean to. Uh... Hold it up. All hey, right. quick question. Are you guys Cleveland Browns fans? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. of course. Are you guys pumped right now? They look pretty good. They got a strong defense. Uh, never. I'm never pumped about the Browns because. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always hear from people from Ohio. <laughs> they disappointed my, me in my entire life. I was like it? the uh, West Virginia Mountaineers. Yeah. Cat <laughs> White, baby. Yeah, they've they've disappointed me my entire life. <laughs> All right. All right, I see what it is already. All right, so this is a Tober thing. Uh oh, shit. All right, man. I'm sorry. Ill ill prepared for uh that's all right. People just fast forward through it anyway. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I have so much other. The suspense is killing me. Yeah. It's, uh... At this point, you got to pull out like a, a fucking Batman 1. Uh, no. It's not no. from the new 52, but like a Golden Age Batman I'm 1. I'm going to throw you through the bowl wrap. Uh-oh. You, you got to pull it out. I can't fucking even tell what it is. It's a comics yeah, interview. Yeah, but yeah. which one? Is that the Boba it's Fett a, one? No, it was a Turtles one. Uh, I wish it was a Boba Fett one. It wasn't, but uh, it was a Turtles one. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, Good I am not going to cut through that. It's okay. And, it's at okay. this point in time. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I appreciate the effort. We're just going to take a knee and we're going to move the fuck off. All right. Here's what he I did. Said, he said, I'm not going to cut through that. In this it's all right. Room. It's okay. I told, I, all right. I told, uh, I told uh, my buddy, uh, Mr. Mercenaut, that I went and, and uh, grabbed some dollar magazines. So I love uh, these comic scenes. I'm, a, as you guys know, a Spawn Batman, Spawn Batman crossover fan. But um, that wasn't the big win for me. It was that I got, um, I found uh, one of these. And uh, that was pretty exciting for me. Now, it had a sticker on it, so that'll take 2.2 seconds to remove. But the uh, guy who worked at the shop, who's also a picker, was like, I haven't looked through those boxes. Uh, but I think it's because he didn't know what the fucking book was. So I was like, don't worry. I'll keep looking through the boxes for you. And I found three more copies. <laughs> Made me so happy. These ones don't have stickers. Because <laughs> they're, in, they're in bags. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah. I, uh, I grabbed uh, this, which is, uh, I, I think oh, people, people are slabbing them. Every time I get would get oh, that, yeah, what's, hey, what's up with that? What's oh, up with dude. that? What's up with that, Bo Jackson? Dude, people are slapping them. Really? 
Yeah, the Beckett. Uh, you don't know about Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not even collect sports cards, and I support that. Wait, people are, you are, people are slabbing a gold Beckett price guys? Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. I'm yeah, they are talking about it on the Discord. I was like, oh, are you always the best dual sport athlete ever? Ever. Absolutely. Motherfucker right. shoots bow and arrows with his feet that he carves the fucking arrows on. So I went dollar it's bin amazing. digging. I grabbed uh, these out of the dollar bin, the Mace Windu ones. They didn't have the fives. I was upset about that. But then I had a run of uh, Luther Strode, right? Because everybody's like all excited about Luther Strode. Um, he's like on the key collector number one uh, most important comic. It was like um, Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, a Miles Morales book, and then Luther Strode for about a month after Dinesh signed Luther Strode. I think this one uh, is a big deal. The number uh, two or threes. I don't know. I, anyway, got got those. Pretty excited about those. I picked up these ones for a buck. Uh, the number twos because they're the homages. These are still real cheap with the Vote Lokis. Yeah, uh, I'll take them for a dollar every time. Nice. Uh, I was able to find this for five dollars and twenty five cents. Nice. Um, I'll put that in the Jim, slide. Jim Comics. He got really excited about that and made it a sixty dollar book. All of a sudden, it's going to be what a sixty dollar fucking sold book uh, here tomorrow. <laughs> uh, uh, trash. But anyway, I'll sell it. Um, picked up one of these. Pretty excited about that. Uh, five dollar. Make you holla. Wet, look at it. Didn't find it. Uh, grabbed uh, third print, uh, paid uh, again like cover price or something for that. Uh, this is the first, uh, no, it's Tim, not Tim uh, Fox in modern continuity, no, yeah, and Batman, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, the Griffin, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, and then uh, grabbed uh, late uh, GI Joes, you know what I mean, like the late issues. I like oh, the Transformers. Guys? G.I. Joe ones. There's like four bucks a piece. Hell yeah. Uh, four dollars, right? That That's one not, was, on, was on fire for a second. Yeah, I'm a little late on that one. Uh, four bucks, I'll take it. I know Carter likes that one. Four bucks and I'm late on it. <laughs> that, that was... Uh... <laughs> it's, hey, it's never too late. It's never too late. Uh, picked up uh, like this one for a buck. Uh, it's the second print, or no, I lied, 425. Second print, I'll take those second prints. Now, I really like this second print. You guys seen this one before? Yep. No. The low, the low key second print? Yep. No, never. Yeah, these the series just came out earlier. Don't say nothing. Uh, I'm a big fan of this guy, second print. Let's take yep, him. Yep. Uh, more of those late things. I wish uh, Ultra Maximus would tell me what the fuck this is because it says Transformers and Lord knows I don't give a fuck uh, about it. But I'm trying to learn, much like Star Wars. By the time it's important, uh, I will understand it and have all the right books. So uh, we'll just <laughs> move right along. Now, I finally did go to like a, a normal adult comic book shop, um, which made me happy. I uh, was able to get... <laughs> <laughs> I like that you guys laugh at me. Makes me happy. Those ones are oh, yeah. fine. But uh, I did get this uh, for $50, sticker price of 100 bucks. She's pretty. And uh, I paid $50 for this, sticker price $70. She's pretty and pretty excited about it. So um, I think we've got maybe a couple of slides for those. Uh, I don't know the answer to that one. Ah, be real, Brian McClay. What's up? You guys still going on? Holy shit. Yeah, we stayed here just for you. Uh, basically, we were all um, talking and we missed you. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to spend some time together. Yeah. So we waited for you to finish um, babysitting the adolescents and come hey, here and babysit still going. us. They're still going. They're still, they're still rocking house. Well, we so. wanted you to come and babysit us. Yeah, so okay, okay. Uh, here we are and uh, we're ready for your tutelage and guidance. Yeah. 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 How's yeah whenever you, so whenever you can open your eyes. <laughs> 
it's been it's been it's been a night it's been a night man it's been a night so uh crazy this news man is crazy it's crazy news so yeah we ran through the marvel stuff we didn't run through um really any of the star wars i i uh i guess since i've got you here uh can we talk about some of the the star wars books that i think uh if people see them they should grab you tell me if you agree okay all right, because the, the only ones I think that are uh, super interesting that I think have a lot of room to grow, if they're the right ones, that may still be out there in the wild, unless you go where Carter goes and then, you know, or half <laughs> race for that matter. Yeah, I was about to say uh, what you're talking about. Like, you got yeah. the, two, the two biggest, like, uh, pickers that I know. Studs of them all, right? Yeah. But if you're a sucker like me, um then you're looking for books like this one yes uh that book really uh jumped in price uh with the announcement uh, a lot of people going after that book okay um, that one yeah all right what about this one uh i don't know much about that one what's going on with that one first appearance okay i don't know much about that yeah one. i'd snag those if you see them that's uh Rogue Squadron Family Ties, number one. Um, same with this one, first okay. appearance. That's right? a good cover. Yeah. yeah, and I think they're still out there. And then the last one that I think is, it's got potentially the most explosive growth is this guy. Yeah, that was the second big book that kind of jumped. Um, and those are the two everybody's kind of going after. Uh, I've even seen the number 60 in the, that first Marvel series jump. Um, I don't know if that's because of Wedge Antilles and that where they kind of first named the squadron. Does that sound right? Yeah, I don't really care about that. But yeah. uh, a lot of the guys who are comic book invest do. Um, yeah. And I know they've been buying them, but uh, it's not necessarily my thing. Um, yeah. It's, uh, I, I, listen, I'm not, I wasn't a big Rogue Squadron guy. I never was. I thought it was cheesy to me, so I never got into it. But I will say this. After seeing Patty Jenkins' little vignette that got you know, released that uh, I saw on uh, Tales, the Tales from the Flipside IG, uh, when I first watched it, I was like, what the hell is she doing? Just like, what, what, what is she doing? Like rollerblading and why is she changing? And like, what is going on? And then she put on the the coveralls the uh you know x-wing coveralls and the x-wing helmet and she turned around there's a fucking x-wing behind her i was like oh shit yeah this is cool so that kind of geeked me up uh for everything um x-wing and if patty jenkins amen yeah if patty jenkins isn't on board i'm i'm stoked about it so dude her well i mean look so i was never a big fan of uh that wonder woman movie she did i liked it i thought it was great uh, i was like eh uh, I like Gal Gadot, but like uh, I wasn't a big fan of that movie. Um, hey, you put Gal Gadot in anything, and I'm a fan of it, bro. Exactly, could uh, agree 100. percent And like you know, that's whatever, right? So when I heard she was doing uh, that, I was like, meh. But I try to not, uh, you know, poo poo things. So I, I uh, investigated a little bit deeper, and I found that video. And listening to her talk about her relationship with her father and how she wanted to make a film to honor fighter pilots and she couldn't find the story and she was able to capture, uh, you know, kind of uh, the story that she wanted to tell uh, the heroic, uh, you know, journey, uh, as I, I heard you describe, right? Like that Joseph Campbell heroic arc she thought was embodied in uh, the Star Wars uh, legend. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm all in. Yeah, um, that's, so that's the type of stuff that makes you excited about. I think the uh, fighter pilot stuff is going to be bigger than anything uh, that we've seen when it comes to Star Wars stuff after these movies. Um, and I'm not sold that the um, one TV show that, uh, what's it called, the... Um, the one that we don't like, they named it, but they didn't talk about it. The, the Ranger, Ranger Squad. Everybody's talking about that having to do with something with Gina Carana. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. I think that's, I think we're going to get two X-Wing. Uh, I think we're going to get one movie and one TV show. Um, and I think that's what that's going to be about. That's my guess. I but think we'll Ranger see. Squad's going to be kind of a catch-all for a lot of stories. You know eh. what I mean? 
Maybe. Um, uh, the Ahsoka no stuff was, was kind of... Eh, like, I get where they're going with it, and and I, I was... I was a little bummed that we didn't get more Darth Maul stuff. Um, I was really uh, looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I, dude. I mean, part of me is uh, like, well, they can't give us everything at one time. Uh, but I, I'm with you, dude. I, I would have loved to see Son of Dathmere. It's, uh, I would have loved to have seen, um, uh, what's Madden. your face, Dr. Aphra. Um, and I certainly would have loved to have seen Knights of the Old Republic, but to think that uh, you know we're we're doing ten different uh, new Star Wars projects, and Afra, Darth Maul, Son of Dathmere, and Knights of the Old Republic are still in the future. Get the fuck out of here! And then we got all this super cool uh, Marvel stuff, and we haven't talked at all about mutants or Blue Marvel or uh, you know uh, what's her face. Moon Girl, Girl. Or, uh, the uh, and then uh, there's the other one too, the uh, Vampire Girl or Slayer Girl. What's her name? Bloodstone. Uh, Bloodstone, or you know, like all these other things that I was really stoked about. You can tell I've been talking, uh, and it's a little past my bedtime, but um, that keeps me excited too. I mean, there's just like so much cool stuff on the horizon. Yeah. I'm shit face. <laughs> but you're still the crook. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, you are. All right, uh, hey, everybody. Brian, Brian, I got a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Have you seen? Have you ever seen this before? I have not. That is gorgeous, man. What Bro, is that? What the fuck? So, McClay hasn't seen it. That's is that We're a subscriber? Trouble. Is that a subscriber variant? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's a subscriber variant, and that is a gorgeous cover. Was uh, it a PX variant or a subscriber variant? Like a well, previous variant? What does it variant? say? What issue does it say it is? Okay, it's a one sixty-eight. We'll have to look it up on my comic shop. Yeah, let me take a look. Um, but that you haven't seen it, Brian, uh, makes me even more excited about it because I know a dumb dumb like me, not having seen it, who cares? There's a lot of stuff I haven't seen. Yeah, that's I think you do a Star Wars is... magazines. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, so, two weeks ago. Let's see here. So, this is the regular cover. All right. And then there's the uh, subscriber variant. Uh oh. Previews exclusive variant, maybe. Holy shit. Hold on. Yeah, because that's not your book right there, is it? No, it's uh, slightly different. Yeah. yeah. He's got the previews, but I thought that was the I previews. I think you one. might have the previews exclusive variant. Hold on Bro. here. Got him. I'll take yeah, it. this is interesting. I'll take it. So, when the hell Strong. Is when you see what the previews is doing for the, the first previews of Soka, it's like 250 or you can't buy it. Wow. Hold on. Well done, sir. Yeah. Hey, I needed. I needed. I needed a win. You deserve yeah, those a win. magazines. <laughs> those magazines are getting ready to just blow up, man. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Star Wars magazines is a different ball game. It's a different ball game. I know magazines get shit on by comic, like comic guys, but um, nah, dude. There's it, there's some of the best picking left there. Yeah. I mean, you saw what I did today. Yeah. For a buck a piece. Ah, uh, people poo poo it, but yeah, man, whatever sells sells, dude. Yeah. Well, mag the magazine boxes is where the cool stuff lives. All the comic boxes have been picked over. You still got a shot when you go to those like weird science boxes of finding something neat, something that's been overlooked. That's super. I can't even find that. Wow. Love she it. She has her helmet on in that one, or is it different? It's no. a, It's like different color scheme. It looks like... Um, her hair I, looks a little bit different, too, right? Yeah. And maybe it's in, there's a newsstand one? Hold on. This is the newsstand. Okay. That's the previews exclusive. Does okay, it look like that? No, it no, doesn't. No, it's different. Huh. Way different. Star Wars are in red. And on cars. 
And that's why I love comics. Yeah, I right? don't even know what that, that is. That stuff that's matters, man. Good yeah. stuff. Good catch. Whatever that is, it's pretty dope. All right, uh, you guys ready to uh, sign off? Amen, brothers. Yes. Um, well, uh, I want to thank those that have endured us. Uh, hopefully, our jailers um, will permit us to go live sometime in the future, but I can't uh, guarantee that for those that have stuck with us and supervised us. We are incredibly appreciative. Thank you. Hi.